Learning all about this stuff over the last couple of years has been absolutely fantastic. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my wine education. Hello and welcome to the Grape Explorer where we celebrate the world of wine. On this channel we do wine education, product reviews and lots of tastings. So if you enjoy wine, consider subscribing. A couple of years ago when I started to take wine more seriously, I really wanted to learn as much as I possibly could about the styles of wine, the grape varietals, the countries, the regions, the producers. And so what I did is I enrolled on a Wine and Spirit Education Trust course. I started off with level one. Now level one was just a one day course. It took place in London. I studied with the West London Wine School. And on this day course, you were really given a fantastic background uh, into wine and some of the basics around service, storage, some of the basic grape varietals, uh, we spent a long time discussing uh, food and wine, matching, what works, what doesn't. And at the end of the day, there was a multiple choice exam of 50 questions and you either passed or you failed. I'm happy to say that I passed um, and I really got a lot out of that one day. Uh, very enjoyable day, uh, especially because they threw in lunch um, and it was held at a fantastic wine bar in London. So level one was a fantastic grounding for me um, as I went through my wine education. So once I got onto level two, there was definitely a noticeable step up in terms of knowledge requirements, uh, studying, and you know the questions definitely got a lot harder than they were at level one. Uh, level two for me was studied with the Thames Valley Wine School. Uh, it took place over three weekends, three consecutive Sundays. And during the three sessions, we drank about 30, 35 wines. Uh, again, we covered off some of the service and storage um, elements of wine. And then we spent time looking at some of the key grape varietals, such as Sauvignon Blanc, a Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, uh, as well as a number of others. Again, at the end of the three sessions, there was a 50 question multiple choice exam. Uh, on this occasion, I'm very happy to say I achieved a pass with distinction. So I was absolutely delighted to have achieved level two. Which brought me to level three. Again, I think of, of all the differences between the exams that I took, level three was the most significant step up, both in terms of required study, both in terms of knowledge, and particularly for level three, your ability to taste. The course took place over a period of two months on alternate weekends, uh, six sessions in all. We tasted around 80 wines during that session. I studied back with the West London Wine School who offer WSET level three, and I'm incredibly grateful for the support and guidance that they showed uh, through this. The biggest step up was in the way that the exam is carried out. Not only do you have to do a 50 question multiple choice exam, there's also a four question short answer exam, as well as a blind tasting exam. Uh, the blind tasting exam, uh, whilst appearing pretty daunting, um, I felt quite comfortable with. Uh, on the day, I think um, I didn't do so well on the short answer questions, um, but I was very happy with the result that I got. So overall, I scored a pass with merit and breaking down the results, I scored pass with merit on theory and pass with distinction on tasting. So as you can imagine, absolutely thrilled to get pass with distinction on tasting. And so those are the exams that I've taken. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank Phil at the Thames Valley Wine School for his support during level two. And I want to take the opportunity to thank Jimmy and Sherry for their guidance and support during level three. I would recommend taking any of these exams to, to anyone who asks. I think you get a fantastic insight into the world of wine. You notice a, a steady curve in terms of knowledge ability. You go from learning about some of the basic grapes at level two to starting to understand regions and sub-regions at level three. You have to have a really good awareness about winemaking processes. You need to understand the vineyard cycle. And overall, the questions are a lot tougher. Um, 56 hours of recommended study time outside of the courses at level three. 
But again, I would recommend this to anyone who's interested in doing a WSET exam. I would certainly recommend Thames Valley and West London Wine Schools. They've been absolutely excellent. And for me, um, it's been a, a wonderful experience. Met some really great people along the way. So how about you? Are you interested in doing a WSET exam? Do you have some qualifications already? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm the Grape Explorer and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.